Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. change all the ordinance of what you think may be right, right? Because according to God's laws, our natural thinking will say homosexuality is wrong. That's abominable unto God. You're not supposed to do that. But the world, just like America says, no, homosexuality is fine. In fact, God made you that way. And guess who pushes that? Christianity. And who is pushing the laws to support it? Democracy. You said you're a Muslim, right? You're a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm studying. You're studying Islam. What makes you want to study Islam? Because it is. Because it is? The white Jesus. White Jesus. Okay. So we understand that, because just like the other brother that left here, he will say that our people believe that this is a white man's book, right? We will think because they taught us Christianity, they taught us a white Jesus, you will want to associate that this is a white man's book. But it's not. Clearly right. we're showing you this is not a white man's book. Right. They stole your book. And then they didn't allow you to read and write, and then they taught you their doctrine. Hold this. Let me get First Maccabees chapter one, verse forty-one. Let me show you something. It's the book of First Maccabees chapter one, and verse forty-one. Moreover, King Antiochus brought to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. So it says King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Start at verse one really quick so we know who King Antiochus is. Who are, what people are we talking about? Wrote to an entire nations of people to be one people. It's gonna sound very familiar. Verse one, and it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chetum. It says, Alexander, son of Philip, the, Ma the Macedonian, came out of the land of Chittim, come on, has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his steed, the first over Greece. The first over, the first over Greece. So who are we talking about? You. We're talking about the Greeks. Alexander, in the history they call him Alexander the Great, or Alexander the Greek, the great conqueror. Right. He was of what race? He was a European race. Right. So let's see what one of his generals did after the Europeans conquered the earth. Verse 41, moreover, King Antiochus, King Antiochus, wrote to his whole kingdom. Meaning he wrote to all nations, don't go nowhere, Junior. I gotta go. I know you don't, you just wanna go. Ah, come on. There all should be one people. He said all should be one people. This is very important because remember your question was, what makes Christianity so wrong? Because you said you believe that Christ came and died for all nations. Right? And you said that we are all one people, right? Well, that's the same thing. Watch this. And everyone should leave his laws so all that he that agree according to the commandment of the king. So it said that everybody should leave their own laws and become one people. And everybody agreed to the commandment of the king. Now, I'm going to show you this was not consensual. Read. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to the religion. To the religion. To his religion. I'm going to show you right now that it was a religion. Sounds just like Christianity, don't it? Where they had the white man on top, and it said, everybody come as you are. We're all one people, one nation, under God. It's the same thing. Come on. It is the religion. That's why they also call it democracy. Right. Democracy is more than just politics and government jargon. It is a religion. Yes, right. And Christianity supports democracy. Right. Come on. And sacrifice unto idols. And profane the Sabbath. And profane the Sabbath. Jump down to verse mm, 40, 49. Verse 49. To the end. They might forget the law. So the whole purpose of it was so that the Israelites could forget the laws of God. Come on. And change all the ordinances. And they change all the ordinances of what you think may be right. 
right? Because according to God's laws, our natural thinking would say homosexuality is wrong. That's abominable unto God. You're not supposed to do that. But the world, just like America says, no, homosexuality is fine. In fact, God made you that way. And guess who pushes that? Christianity. And who is pushing the laws to support it? Democracy. All nations consented to his religion. Come on. And whosoever would not do according to his commandments, of the king, he said, he should die. He should what? He should die. Just like here in the Americas, if you didn't want to consent to the religion of Christianity, you was put to death. But what else did they do? We don't. Those ain't real Christians then. We don't. Huh? Verse 51. What? Those ain't real Christians then if you put other people to death. Because Christianity is, no, they're not real Christians, but Christianity, what I'm showing you, it's a false religion. That's not the true religion of God. That's what I'm trying to show you. The Bible does not Christ teach Christianity itself as a religion. The Bible and Christianity is two different things. That's what I'm trying to show you. Come on. But they use the Bible to try to legitimize their doctrine or their religion. Come on. Verse 51. In the self, same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, commanding the cities. Verse 57. And whatsoever was found with any the book of the testament, or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should be put him to death. So those that wanted to maintain the righteous way, the correct way on how to worship God's law, the commandment, according to the commandment of the king, you were to be put to death. Right. Also, if you was found with this book, you were put to death. Right. Isn't the history of the Catholic Church where unless you wanted to learn about God, you had to go to the Pope and to learn? It was unlawful for everyone to have this book because if you could read it on your own, you would see that the Pope was a liar. That was why. And then what else did they do on top of that? Chapter 3, verse 48. So they taught you a false religion, they taught you a false democracy, a way of government, of life, and then they made it unlawful for you to have this book and read it on your own, and then what did else did they teach? There's a book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And lay over the book of the law. So if you were caught with it yourself, you had to be put to death. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, they opened the book of the law and did what? Wherein ye heathen has sought to pay the read that right. Wherein ye heathen have the heathen, the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. The, the likeness of their images. So they retaught you another Jesus. And behind that, you got another spirit and another gospel. Which is which supports all nations under one justice under God. Christ came, no, he didn't come to save the oppressed. He came for all of us, the oppressed and the oppressor. But that ain't what the Bible teaches. Right. Right. So what I'm trying to show you, what you think you know, you don't really know. You right. don't know the Bible. You've been taught a lie. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.